Okay, so what is field? Of, I call it field of feelings, but it's just a simple name. It's not really field of feelings. You could maybe you could say it's like releasing the energies yes. or releasing the vibrations. Okay, so realize that the um, realize that the ego is comprised of repressed feelings, mm -hmm. two major components, but they're all the same. Because remember, ultimately, anything in form is not the truth. Anything that you hold on within the ego that is in form, i.e. has a shape or a dimension to it, is, is an aspect of ego. Because the, the truth is eternal, timeless, uh, and is forever. So when you have things which, are, which can change, and also the, the, the truth is unchanging, you know, so when you have things that can be changing or passing, or have shape to them, all of these things can be released. You know, they're, 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 not, they're not the truth of who you are. So they're just aspects of the ego. And when you hold things within the ego which are in form, then you experience a limited existence. You experience yourself, you know, if you, if you really identify with your body, Mm -hmm. then you feel like you're trapped in a limited body. If you have a lot of repressed feelings like fear, guilt and shame, uh, then you experience life as being full of fear, shame and guilt. Mm -hmm. You see, if you hold lots and lots of thoughts uh, within your ego, then you, you, you experience like a busy head that is going non-stop. Now all of these are not the truth of who you are. You see, so using feel the feelings, what we're doing is that it's a process of surrender or letting go. How do you surrender and let go? You 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 allow things to be, or you even it's even a little bit of the opposite. Even though it, it, I would describe it as you like pulling up to bring into consciousness everything that's been hidden and stuck in your ego. So it's like if there was like if there's a little bit of um, <clears throat> anxiety or fear, or um, then it would be like you want to like allow that to be fully experienced and not to even in the beginning you might want to even pull it up. So you're not because why do I say that? Because a lot of people are are mentally repressing a lot of their feelings. Mm -hmm. You see. So even if I say to you guys like just allow things to be, really, I should say, like, just let them come up. Because a lot of people are, without knowing it, are pushing, is push, they're pushing everything down, so they don't really feel anything. So I say, like, just sit down and just let everything come up that's being squashed down, that's being repressed. Because if, if you have a busy head, just thinking a lot is repression. And, and most people, especially addicts, have the art of just making sure all their feelings never come up. They just mentally do it in an unconscious way. So, so when you do feel the feelings, like let everything come up, mm -hmm. and don't. And it's not a process. It's not a mental process. It's not a process that you do with your head. Even though it will seem like I'm giving you. It, it seems like I'm giving you instructions for your head to do this process. <coughs> but actually. Just letting everything come up doesn't require your head. You know, it doesn't require your head. Even if your head gets in there, eventually it doesn't require your head. Because you can, you can let everything come up and you don't need your head to say, orchestrating the background, come up, come up, do this, do that. Am I doing it properly? Maybe I didn't do that. You don't need that. With the thoughts, is don't, you know, in the beginning, detach from your thoughts. Now you get better and better at this. It's like when the feelings are coming up, like you'll go off into your head, into a story, but catch the thought as quickly as possible and disengage and be with the feeling. And then you'll go into another thought. And then the trick is to catch it quicker and quicker. So you, you know, like the first thought, you know, it's like I need to do the shopping, I need to go to Sainsbury's, and you've got 10 items. And then you go, no, I'm supposed to be feeling my feelings. Mm -hmm. And then you go, and that's like three minutes, and then you come back to feeling your feelings. Yes. So. Later on, when you become better at it, it's like, oh, I need to do my shop, and then you stop it, and then you're back to feeling the feelings. 
and then it's got like I need to pay the bit no nope, stop that and then bring it back and you just so you're emptying out everything and when you the other thing is the addiction to thinking you see by by just allowing the repressed energies to come up and this not allowing the addiction to the next thought you're do, you're, you're actually deflating the ego very rapidly because you're releasing the repressed feelings and you're cutting the addiction <coughs> to feelings okay so we'll do like five should we do five minutes mm -hmm. and then we'll get some feedback on that